Hello children let's get into the chapter 2 managing files and folders so let's quickly see what we are going to focus in this chapter features of windows 10 windows 10 desktop the taskbar files and folders using context menu a computer system is made up of both hardware and software an operating system is the basic software that is loaded into a computer as soon as the computer is switched on windows is the most popular and widely used operating system and has many versions some versions of windows are windows 95 windows 98 windows xp windows vista windows 7 windows 8 and windows 10 in this chapter you will learn more about the windows 10 operating system let's see this quick fact hunt linux is another widely used operating system it is offered at no cost red hat mint fedora and ubuntu are the most common linux distributors so now let's see the features of windows 10 graphical user interface it has graphical user interface that is gui program in gui all the applications and programs are represented by pictures or graphics called icons next wysiwyg that is w y s i w y g it uses wysiwyg that stands for what you see is what you get this term refers to the ability of software that what you see on the screen will be seen on the paper when you print it next fast and easy you can search for files and folders very quickly multitasking you can work with two or more programs at the same time it is called multitasking let's look into this trivia Microsoft Edge is the default web browser for Windows 10. It enables the user to conduct various web searches. Now let's look into the snippet. Windows Store. The Windows Shop offers a variety of free and paid application types. These applications can be opened in several small desktop windows. On the store, the customer can also access video games. music and films now let's see windows 10 desktop when you switch on the computer the operation system gets loaded into the computer memory the process loading the operating system in the computer's memory is called booting after booting up the first screen that appears on the monitor is called the desktop parts of windows 10 desktop the desktop can be divided into the following parts the start button search box pinned applications icons taskbar live tiles notification area next is the start button start button is present at the left corner of the desktop A list of options or programs will appear when you click on the start button. This list is called the start menu. Click the start button, then start menu. This is the left pane and this is the right pane. Live tiles. Now let's see the live tiles. Live tiles are shortcuts for starting programs. in windows 10 live tiles also show frequently updated information such as in weather apps calendar news games and emails you can add remove and resize the tiles using right click on a particular tile 
To add a tile to start menu, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the start menu. Step 2. Scroll to the name of the app of the program. Right click on the app you want to add to the start menu. Step 3. Select pin to start. The selected app will appear as a live tile. Now you can resize tiles according to your choice. To resize a tile, follow these steps. Step 1. Right click on the tile. Step 2. Select the resize option. Step 3. Choose your preferred size. The tile will be resized. Next, to remove a tile, follow these steps. Step 1. Right click on the tile. Step 2. Choose the option Unpin from start. The tile will be removed. Now let's see the icons. Icons are small symbols or pictures on a computer representing files, folders and programs. Let's learn about some commonly used icons. Application icons. These are the graphical images that gives quick access to the related application. Shortcut icons. These icons have a direct route to a specific application, document or folder. A small arrow in the bottom left corner of an icon indicates that the icon is a shortcut icon. Recycle bin. By default, it is a folder that stores deleted items. The deleted items can be restored to their original locations or deleted permanently from the recycle bin. Network It enables the users to access files and folders shared by computers on a network. Now let's see this PC icon. When you double click on this PC icon, a window opens. It displays the content of the computer's hard disk, CD or DVD, etc. It can be used to explore, organize, copy and move files or folders on a computer. Now let's see the taskbar. The taskbar is the horizontal bar located at the bottom of the desktop screen. The taskbar contains the start button, search box, Pinned Applications, Notification Area. Now let's see the pin on application to the taskbar. To pin an application to the taskbar, follow the given steps. Step 1. Type the name of the application you want to pin in the search box. For example, here we search for Word. Step 2. Click with the right mouse button on the application's name in the search results. A selection menu will appear. Step 3. Select the pin to taskbar option. The icon for the application appears in the taskbar. Now unpin or remove an application from the taskbar. When multiple applications are pinned, the screen becomes cluttered. Therefore, you must unpin some applications. To unpin an application, please follow the steps below. Step 1. Right click on the application icon on the taskbar. A pop-up menu will appear. Step 2. Select the unpin from taskbar option. The icon will be removed from the taskbar. Now moving the taskbar. You can change the position of the taskbar and place it on any one of the four corners of the screen. Follow these steps. Step 1. Right click on the taskbar and uncheck the lock the taskbar option by clicking on it. Step 2. Now click and drag the taskbar to the new location top or bottom left or right or to the edges of the screen. Files and folders. All data stored on the hard drive of your computer 
comprises of files and folders. Folders are used to store and organize files and other folders. Files are used to store data. A file is a collection of data and information that is kept on a storage device such as a hard disk, USB flash drive, or CD or DVD. There are various file types based on the type of information they store, including documents, files, sheets, PowerPoint presentations, image files, music files, and videos. Each file type has its own icon. This enables us to determine the file type. A folder is similar to a filling cabinet in which you can store your documents. A folder is essentially a collection of files. A folder is known as a directory as well. A folder can include several subfolders containing files. The icon of a file is distinct from that of a folder. Double clicking a folder icon displays the folder's file list or thumbnail. Selecting files or folders. While working with files and folders, the very first step is to select the particular file or folder you want to work with. To select a single file or folder, click on it. To select multiple files and folders, select the first file or folder and continue to select the desired ones while keeping the control key pressed. Create a folder on the desktop. Now let's create a folder on the desktop. To create a new folder on the desktop, follow these steps. Step 1. Right click on the blank area of the desktop. A short menu appears. Step 2. Click on the new option. A submenu appears. Step 3. Click on the folder option in submenu. A new folder is created on the desktop. Let's see this tidbit. The work that you do on a computer is saved as a file. Now let's learn about creating a folder in File Explorer. To create a folder in the File Explorer, follow the given steps. Step 1. Open File Explorer by clicking on the This PC icon. A window opens. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. From the ribbon, select the New Folder command from the New group. A new folder will be created. Now let's see opening a file or folder. To open an existing file or folder, follow these steps. Step 1. Right click on the folder you want to open. A shortcut menu appears. Step 2. Click on the open option. A window showing list of contents will appear. Alternatively, you can double click on a file or folder you want to open. Renaming a file or folder. You can also change the name of a file or folder. To rename a file or folder, follow these steps. Step 1. Right click on the file or folder. Step 2. Click on the rename option. Step 3. Type the new name and press the enter key. The file or folder will be renamed. Now let's see how to copy a file or a folder. The copy and paste commands help us to create a duplicate copy of a file or a folder. When a file or folder is copied and pasted from one location to another, a copy of the file or folder is created without removing it from the original location. We can create more than one copy of a file or folder. To copy a file or a folder, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the file or the folder to be copied. Step 2. On the Home tab in the clipboard group, click on the Copy option. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl plus C. Step 3. Go to the destination folder or drive where you want to place the copied file or folder. Step 4. On the Home tab in the clipboard group, click on the Paste option. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl plus V. 
Now let's see how to move a file or a folder. The cut and paste commands help us to move or shift a file or a folder from its original location that is the source to another location destination. To move a file or a folder, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the file or the folder to be copied. Step 2. On the Home tab, in the clipboard group, click on the Cut option. Step 3. Go to the destination folder or drive where you want to place the file or folder. Step 4. On the Home tab, in the clipboard group, click on the Paste option. Now let's see how to delete a file or a folder. If you do not need a file, you can remove it from your PC to save space. To delete a folder or a file, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the file or the folder that you want to delete. Step 2. On the Home tab, in the Organize group, click on the Delete option. When you delete a file or a folder, it gets moved to the Recycle bin where it's stored temporarily. Now let's have a quick tip. To permanently delete a file or a folder, select it and press Shift plus Delete. Now let's see how to restore a file or folder. The deleted files or folders can be restored from the Recycle bin. To restore files or folders, follow these steps. Step 1. To open the Recycle bin, in the File Explorer window, type Recycle bin in the address bar. The File Explorer shows the content of the Recycle bin. Step 2. Right click on the file or folder. A context menu appears. Choose a Restore option from the context menu. Let's see using context menu. The menu that appears when we point to an icon and right click on it is known as the context menu or shortcut menu. It gives various options on possible actions that can be taken for that particular icon. Let's have a chapter recap. The operating system is the most important application on a computer. Microsoft Windows is a powerful GUI that is graphical user interface operating system. The desktop is the initial screen that will be displayed when you turn on your computer. The taskbar is the horizontal bar located at the bottom of your screen. File Explorer is utilized to manage and display files and folders. It is possible to create, rename, copy, move and delete files and folders.